Why am I looking over here? In case you haven't noticed, I have a bit of a tan line here. That is a result of playing baseball today. Hey, I'm going to preface this with a little disclaimer. So this is not me saying that everyone should take notes this way. This is how I take my notes. I notice that people in church would look at me taking notes and thinking, hey, Phil is doodling. Let's stop him. And just before they do, they realize that I'm taking notes and not doodling. So they're in a state of, this is what I do to pay attention and to keep notes. So within the whole keeping note experience, actually I've got years of them. These go back to 2010. I've got a lot of them. Now, it's one thing to take good notes like these. I like I write them down like this. But sometimes I'll need I want to draw a picture and that encapsulates a l like a lot of words. Each disciple looks unique. This dude looks like this, as you can see. References. See there's Peter. I drew him with three tufts of hair. Lots of hair. And I drew his younger brother Andrew. His hair's a little wavier. And then you got James. It looks like he's wearing one of those Revolutionary War hats. Don't know why I drew that on his head. There's John. I don't know why I drew that on his head. And then there's Phil. I drew him with a skull cap. I don't even wear a skull cap. I have a tube. And Bartholomew, I always picture him with a beard. Thomas. Don't know why he's always angry. Vexed expression on his face there. Matthew. He's wearing a straw hat. Son Alphaeus. I needed to tell him apart from the other James. Thaddeus, sounds like a smart guy. He's wearing glasses. I don't know if they wore glasses back then. I'm in the Zealot. Zealot is another name for radical. So I drew him with radical hair. I think it's very unique. It's in all of my notes whenever I have to write or draw. Judas. Bless you. I cannot draw at all, but I drew these, and I like them.